particular session on the design thinking for innovation too, we will talking about the theories and practices of design thinking, practices of integrating design thinking uh, in the strategic innovation. Design thinking is evolving as a strategy assist for the innovation, then the design thinking itself and the strengthening our thinking through the processes. Uh, uh, enter the need for a new design thinking, we need to allow the creative flow to emerge and seek the experienced design thinkers and as usual case study research paper and the book recommendations and references. Now, whenever we are talking about the theories and practices of the design thinking, different theoretical perspectives have been used in research uh, into design thinking and uh, uh, one stream of the research uh, through protocol analysis to catch the ways uh, uh, designers are making this uh, sense of uh, their own working processes. Uh, another examples methods for the teaching designly thinking to design students. Uh, so, uh, through uh, normative design based uh, protocol. Uh, uh, design thinking is much younger than the design uh, thinking is there, but it has a, a, a grown rapidly in one uh, interpretation design thinking may also be a way for managers to understand design in a more uh, straightforward way than the through the design management uh, uh, disclosure that is uh, built on a managerial platform. When design management started as an academic area in the 1970s, it was uh, taught by the uh, designers aiming to help management scholars and the practitioners understand what design is and what is the relevant to the organization is there. In the theory of thinking, the modes uh, building on these uh, Gulfield's uh, studies, there are the three basic uh, modes of thinking are there, analytical, judicial and synthetic. So, analytical thinking the process for the separation of uh, uh, things uh, from the visible relationship in the process and production in the organization. Uh, judicial thinking is comparing and the making the uh, judgments based on uh, the depth analysis in the thinking uh, and the synthetic thinking is the process to combine uh, two things and ideas with the intention of making the new process and the combination. Theory of creative blocks are the according to this theory. Um, they there are the barriers to the creativity of the individual and the individual expresses inability to the access creativity and hence there is an block created in the creativity process of the individual. Now, uh, this is a theory of problem solving, there are the three types of the problems, uh, they are analytical, judicial and uh, uh, synthetic. Uh, the concept of uh, analytical problem includes the uh, precise challenges and solutions which are based on the small number of the challenges and uh, have the precise way of working on the challenge. Uh, judicial problems are the influenced by the complex challenges and which require solution that require correct direction based on the problem statement present through the the complex challenge. So, synthetic problems are the based on the uh, open concept that has uh, various ways of working of uh, resolving the problem. Theory of creative process uh, is the uh, choice between these uh, uh, the inner and the outer consideration and the unconscious uh, mind of this uh, individual through the process of reflection and the active collaboration of the individual. Theory of creative thinking, education and the metacognitive control. So, according to the theory creative thinking is uh, increased uh, through the creative education and supports in the creating higher creative achievements uh, among the individuals. This process also increase the individual creative potential and supports in developing the right mindset for the creativity of the individual. Uh, practices of the design thinking at this stage, the processes are presented from the perspective of the designers and the consultants. So, design ideas from the perspective of the designers show that ideas are used to customer problem as this is uh, driven by the organizational culture. Therefore, design thinking has an impact on the culture of the organization and the, uh, the designers need to consider the, the impact of the design thinking on the organization. So, design thinking from a consultant's perspective demonstration that the supporting design thinking is providing support for the complex business uh, issues and uh, providing the solutions to uh, complex business problems in the organization. Team based design thinking has a direct impact on design thinking process of the organization. 
following aspects are to be taken care in the design thinking of, our, of an organization. Building the right type of the team and team members uh, from diverse background and the specialization support in providing the solution to the challenges uh, faced by the design team. So, right from culture, the involvement of the team members are is an important component uh, for the developing the right culture. Hence, uh, and the rules, regulations and the processes of the team have an impact uh, on developing the right culture. The team therefore, design thinking team needs to have the right culture for the developing the right direction in the team process of the design team. Development of the higher uh, uh, inclusions, cohesions, uh, interactions and the confidence uh, uh, support in the developing the effective team for the design thinking is there. And the effective communication among these members supports uh, in sharing the ideas and solutions for the design teams uh, in the design thinking. The role of the leadership is an important aspect uh, in design thinking. Team leader supports and, and encouragement support the design thinking uh, team in, in the organization. So, practices uh, of the integrating design thinking in the strategic innovation is uh, the design thinking in the strategic innovations has the uh, four practices they are reviewing simulating, conversing and the collaborating. First, we will take the reviewing. So, design thinking is based on the data collected through the various sources which include the customers, employees and others uh, uh, stakeholders. So, based on the data collected pro, on the prototype is developed the, through the concept of design thinking and this development support in development of the right strategy for the innovation in the organization is there. Uh, simulating is the concept of the simulation that provides insight on the experience of the individual in the real world of the business. Simulating opens up strategy practices because it provokes managers to form an empathetic engagement uh, with the customer's uh, experience, thereby making the market context uh, immediately appraisable. So, conversing is the was the particular important in enabling collective reflection and the getting agreement uh, um, between the participants with the diverse understandings of the strategy. In other words, this aspect of the design uh, uh, led to strengthening the amplified manager's uh, attention to the rest fit within the product market fit is there. Well, this practice was the especially useful when the teams were dealing with the complex issues that could easily be forgotten or lost in the conversational dialogue. Rather than trying to empathetically understand each manager's uh, perspective as in the conversing practice, the focus is the collaborative transform was on the generating a shared solution uh, to a complex problem. So, design thinking is evolving as a strategy assist for the innovation. So, how do you create a strategy for guaranteeing that innovation and creativity flourishes in your organization? So, here is the diagram. Now, here you see right from uh, beginning we have seen that is the uh, design thinking is starting uh, from this the uh, R and D research and development and then it goes for the production. Then it is going for the marketing and then it is to the uh, customers. This is the basic diagram we, we have models and uh, concepts we have thought about. Now, here when, when we talk about it is a strategy. So, where the strategy will be started? The strategy will be started into the research. And what is the research? Research is the exploring, discovering. And therefore, in that case, uh, you will find that is the, this research will start into the uncertainties there. Now, when you are starting with the uh, uh, dimensions uh, influencing as an uncertainty, then you have to plan a strategy. So, a strategy for that innovation and creativity, hmm, this innovation. So, this uncertainty is uh, going for this uh, part of this uh, research, right, which is leading towards the innovation. Now, here when we are talking about the formulation from these uh, uncertainties research into a product as an innovation, then definitely in that case uh, we have to understand that is the what strategy uh, research strategy is required by the organization. So, in the case uh, if we talk about this particular the uncertainty 
to the clarities and that is why you find it is given like this uh, because it is uncertainty is there and then it is making the finally it is come out with the solution and that solution is the innovation is there. During this process you develop a prototype and uh, here this is the totally the design thinking strategy will be there. So, it is going from the uncertainty to the clarity is there. So, whenever we are talking about uh, towards from the uncertainty towards the clarity or the focus is there, then we will say that it is going for the innovation is there. Now, beyond making the objects are there. So, organizations are pushing hard to get the uh, DT instilled in many parts of their business and they want their people to think the designers and understand how to apply the basis of these the design principles. It provides a unique edge to understanding the problem, challenges and issues, a powerful competitive edge is there. So, increasing the design way of thinking can be applied to solutions for the procedures, system resolutions, customer and user experience is there. So, it moves from the finding the desirable solutions uh, for the product, service and experience is there. Now, here we have to also understand that is it is not uh, uh, necessarily that it is the, it will start uh, uh, with the new th thinking only. It might be that is the thinking is already having the direction of the desirable solution. Now, the direction means here suppose in the production is there. I would like to share one example. Um, I was working with these uh, soya industries of the Shiram group and they were the hexane losses uh, were very high in the production and we were looking for the solution that is the during production process the hexane losses are to be less. So, then it was a desirable solution was looking forward for that particular experience or you can say that is a process while developing that particular product uh, that is the soya oil. So, here if you are going into the uh, desirable solution then it pushing into the contributing to solve more complex problems and therefore, uh, that problem was uh, solved by technical uh, changing the process of the technical production process uh, and then the exit loss was reduced. Uh, and uh, here we will find that is the many times uh, this particular desirable thinking uh, are the solution that gives you direction towards the formation of a strategy. So, here the design thinking is evolving as a strategy assist for the innovation is there. The growing appeal of the design thinking that comes from its capability of the combining imagination and intuition and by applying a certain logic and a systematic reasoning to the explore possibilities are there. So, possibilities of what could be and what is the coming closer to the point of providing the desired outcomes uh, that enhance, solve or benefit organizations and the end users are there. So, here whenever we are talking about uh, the design thinking then the, this uh, uh, goes with the imagination and intuition is there and this imagination and intuition of the brain it going for the application as a product is there. So, that could be the what is the coming closer to the point of providing the desired outcomes and this enhance the solve or benefit uh, uh, organizations by the end users the customers are there. So, design thinking employs the divergent thinking because it cannot be only the linear thinking and uh, as a way to ensure that many possible solutions are explored in the first instance. And then this convergent thinking is a way to narrow this down to a final solution. So, here we are thinking of the number of alternatives and therefore, it is becoming that there are many possible solutions uh, that they are coming. And when we these solutions are coming, they are becoming this convergent thinking uh, and this convergent thinking is uh, uh, that uh, whatever you are now thinking to a convergent thing that you will find as a final solution. So, divergent thinking is the ability to offer the different unique or the variant ideas and the adherent to the one theme while the convergent thinking is the ability to find and realize the best ideas or solutions to the given problem is there.
So, here we will find out uh, that is the uh, how we are going to identify that this convergent thinking will be making the ability and therefore, related the best idea solutions uh, to the given problem is there. And uh, this process of design thinking which is we are taking towards uh, uh, the uh, convergent thinking is there and that makes an organization to organization the difference is there in the manpower is there. So, the, the, the best friend of the innovation uh, strategically and the tactically is there. So, whenever we are talking about the design thinking is, is applied to business other social issues are there and it is by making the creativity logical. Uh, it will uh, not restrict only to the economic or the social is there. Design thinking is naturally applicable to the technical uh, aspects also and uh, uh, then uh, uh, it is also uh, applicable uh, to the number of uh, uh, dimensions uh, which are related to the problem of the uh, political also. So, therefore, in this case you will find it is a design thinking it goes with the uh, social, political, economical, technical. So, it is by breaking the creativity logical you, know, you have its power of contribution. So, it can transform our innovative solutions. So, the design thinking is a highly creative problem solving approach with a toolkit of the methods are there. But more a, a specific mindset where the adopting is constant if the same process gets the repeated too often. So, it may bring only the same results or the dampens the potential to spark the different ideas and the solutions are there. So, design thinking is something for to prescribe uh, no, dulls the process is there. So, design thinking needs a creativity within itself uh, uh, bringing the different uh, framing uh, concepts to the different uh, stages of the uh, thinking uh, through process is there. So, here if we identify that is the whenever we are talking about a specific mindset uh, uh, then in that case uh, we, we have to open, we have to open to bring the uh, many many ideas. Uh, and uh, these ideas uh, may be uh, uh, evaluated and the best idea uh, will be taken uh, as a solution. So, it is all about the human centered innovation is there. So, design thinking works uh, best uh, when it comes to the creating uh, the human sense of the things and uh, tackling the challenges uh, in a way that the best meets the human needs uh, regardless of the scope and the authority of the challenge is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, it will be always found it is the how we are going for the identifying the human needs are there and uh, uh, naturally a comfort controlled or technical or the linear approach is no longer able to graph with the uh, newly complex and sensitive needs of the modern society is there. As I earlier mentioned that is the whenever we are talking about uh, this control uh, or the linear approach is there uh, which will not be working now and then we have to think into the uh, divergent thinkings and then, then this uh, divergent thinking which we have to convert into the, uh, uh, the solution product or the services. So, it starts with an intention, a desire. So, therefore, desirable solution a need or the uh, the warning towards a better solution or the state uh, like for example, we talk in the areas of the food, uh, energy and water. So, we, we think about that is the how we can do uh, this better situation uh, in the states. So, we do not know whether this is a mere dream or a practical and a viable path to take, uh, um, but uh, design thinking gives us the tools to explore what could be is there. So, therefore, whenever we start in the uncertainty, so therefore, it is the beginning of a dream because the uh, this dream to convert into the practical and uh, reality that is giving us the challenge and that could uh, that challenge is will be required to explore that is, is what could be the there. Now, whenever we are talking about design thinking it will be a holistic approach to the challenges there. So, it is a best suited to the addressing the problems where multiple uh, uh, sphere collides uh, uh, at the intersection of the business and the society is concerned. Nowadays when we are talking about the waste management right, when we are talking about the water uh, uh, reaches is there, when we are talking about the food processing, so uh, or, uh, alternate energy. So, these all are spheres uh, where the society is the number of uh, uh, stakeholders they collide uh, with the business and the logic 
and the emotion uh, that is also uh, becomes because when you are converting uh, a, a divergent thinking into a converged thinking, so logic and the emotions will play their roles. So, these rational and creative human needs and economic demands uh, that will be the between the systems and the individuals will be there. So, uh, this is equally applicable uh, to the human needs and the economic uh, factors also. So, we would most likely not require design thinking to tackle uh, the ten problems uh, that is a problem that are simple and that have fixed and the known solutions. Unless we were seeking a novel or innovative means to solving the problem with a different desired goal, then the typical available solutions are there. So, therefore, uh, if you want to go by a typical solution, then definitely in that case you do not need to go for the uh, design thinking because you are having the traditional solution with you and then you want to proceed in your business or in your society with that traditional solution. But uh, if you want to go uh, that you are seeking for a very innovative idea and then if your desirable solution is motivating you to come for a different idea, then definitely in that case you will find that is the design thinking and that will be creating more and more on the creativity and the thinking process in the number of directions. So, it is not just a process and the design thinking as we talk about that is it is an interaction and this design foundation interaction here we start with this empathy and the, so um, that is why it, it has been mentioned that is it is the becoming the mind human brains right. So, this empathy uh, this is giving you uh, this particular uh, trigger or the understanding that there is a problem and there is required a solution is there. So, therefore, uh, here what how do you go about it? So, you go for this particular uh, desirable solution. So, you start from desirable solution and this desirable solutions uh, uh, that goes into the brain with the help of uh, new ideas and new products you are developing. So, this desirable solution, this is human brain and there you are creating the new ideas. This particular uh, uh, this learning or the thought process or uh, what, what you are studying is and that is giving you the concern with the uh, uh, thinking and other side this is providing uh, a solution also. Here we have to also understand that when this type of this uh, the readings are there then uh, uh, this uh, intellectual thinking will create a solution which will be applicable maybe as a prototype is there. We have talked about this uh, that is the uh, when we are reaching to the end product uh, how the prototype is making the difference and then you can experiment on it. So, therefore, in, in these are a, a set of steps are there. So, here we will find out uh, that however, design thinking is not necessarily only to be understood as a process or the method for solving the set uh, in a, a stone collection of problems. It is also a mindset uh, uh, that can be applied in almost uh, any scenario where the innovations or the thinking differently is required. It can be also combined with other methodologies, business strategies, social innovation models and the management practices. So, it is something that uh, changes uh, depending on its uh, context uh, and can use uh, tools and techniques from the other disciplines are there. Now, when we are making the strengthening our thinking uh, uh, through processes, uh, then it takes the constant creative work. And this uh, continuity of this creative work uh, blending design and the business thinking will be go on. And those organizations uh, which uh, do not uh, make uh, design thinking only in the case of the problem, but they are having a culture. A culture is created in the business thinking and various techniques and the frameworks for the different scenarios uh, uh, that uh, need to move from what is correct answer is there. So, often the blunt sending us to the many solutions possibilities and that take innovation out to new realms of the solutions are there. And here those meet a more integrative thinking that connects ideas more to the customer needs are there. So, whenever we are enter into the need for a design thinking, so it can play a, a richer role and be a more powerful uh, uh, contribution contributor to the biggest problems, but it needs to evolve and be seen in a wider context and not seen as a specialized narrow and limited. 
it can connect to a wider universe of the problems in the complexity of design itself. Once the centuries it is broke out of the, uh, the past uh, confines design thinking uh, makes us all design uh, conscious. So, if we allow it onto, it is the human centered designers that can draw out of the best of our thinking. If we do allow it, it to, then this design thinking encourages us to abandon the linear thinking and uh, keeps us the constantly understanding that uh, uh, looping circularly as the expected process and that needs to reset mindset uh, significantly. Design thinking needs to evolve in our minds away from those uh, uh, past uh, experiments limited to narrow linear paths are the design thinking. Understanding is highly liberating, sometimes scary, but uh, deeply satisfying when you truly break through a complex problem. So, we need to allow the creative flow to the emerge and the seek experience of design thinkers. So, good well trained design thinkers are the school are schooled to be naturally creative thinkers and that is their space. They need to extend their toolkit of methods and uh, these are tools to produce the new values through the approaches uh, they undertake. And they thrive in the ambiguous recognition in the growing complex problems and there will be never be a concrete set of the predictable answers. So, design thinkers work through the uh, messy and unpredictable business typically for the innovation uh, and uh, discovery, analyzing and synthesizing to push those uh, unpredictable surprising creative uh, outcomes. To achieve this, uh, design thinking cannot be a prescribed step by step uh, detail process, it simply passes through the stages, loops uh, and uh, back when the necessary and moves towards uh, when it seems uh, right. Now, here I would like to take uh, this particular case study of the southern discomfort and uh, in here the Jim Maleskowski, they remember that call of the two weeks ago as if he had just put down the telephone receiver. I just read your analysis and want you to get down to Mexico right away. Uh, Jake Rippon, his boss and the chief executive officer had uh, uh, blurted in his ear, uh, you know we cannot make the plan. Uh, in front in the Okonomo work uh, anymore. The costs are just too high. So, go down there and check out what your operational cost would be if uh, we move and report back to me in a week. As the president of the uh, Wisconsin Specialty Products Division of uh, Lamprey Incorporation, Jim knew quite uh, well that the challenges of the dealing and uh, with a high cost level in a third generation that is the unionized U.S. manufacturing plant. So, uh, and although he had done the analysis that lead to his boss knee uh, jerk uh, response, and the call still uh, stunned him and there were uh, 520 people who made a living at Lempe's Decamo facility and if it closed, most of them would not have a chance of finding the another job in the town of the 9,900 people. So, instead of this, uh, 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 this dollar 16 per hour average wage paid at the uh, uh, Okonomo plant, uh, and the wages paid to the Mexican workers who lived in the town without uh, sanitation and with an unbelievable toxic influence from the industrial pollution would amount to about a dollar 1.60 an hour on average and that would be a savings of the nearly dollar 15 million a year for the lamp uh, to be offset in part by the increased cost uh, for the training, transportation and the other matters. After uh, two days of these uh, talking with uh, uh, the Mexican government representatives and the managers of other companies in the town, uh, Jim had uh, enough information in develop a set of the comparative figures of the production and the sh shipping cost. On the way home, he started to outline the report knowing full well that unless uh, some miracle occurred, he would be uh, unleashing a, a wizard of the pink slip for the people he had come to appreciate. The plan to Okonomo uh, had been in the operation since 1921 making special apparel for these uh, people uh, suffering from the injuries and the other medical conditions. Jim had uh, often uh, talked with the employees uh, who would uh, uh, recount uh, stories about their fathers or grandfathers working in the same lamprey company plant. Uh, the last of the original manufacturing operations in the town is there. But uh, friendship sites uh, 
the competition has already edged uh, past uh, Lempre in terms of the price and were then dangerously close to the overtaking it in the product quality. Although both Jim and the plant manager had tried to convince the union to accept the lower wages, union leaders registered. In fact, uh, on one occasion when the gym and the plant manager tried to discuss a cell manufacturing approach uh, which would uh, uh, cross team employees to perform us to up to three different jobs, uh, local union leaders could barely restrain their anger and Jim thought he sensed an underlying fear uh, meaning the union reps were representatives were aware of the at least some of the problems, uh, but he had been unable to get uh, them to the acknowledge this and move on to the open discussion. Every week passed and Jim had just submitted his report to his boss. Although he did not uh, specifically bring up the point, it was apparent that the Lemprey could put its investment dollars in a bank and uh, receive a better return to than what it is economic operation was uh, currently producing. And the next day he would discuss the report with the CEO, uh, Jim did not want to be responsible for the plant's uh, uh, dismantling uh, and act of uh, uh, the personal chief believed uh, um, would be the wrong as lo long as there was a chance uh, its cost can be lowered. Uh, but uh, uh, Ripon's right, he said to the himself, uh, uh, the costs are too high, the union is unwilling to cooperate and the company needs to make it a better return on its investment if it is uh, to continue at all. It sounds right but feels wrong, what should uh, uh, I do? So therefore, from this case study you can identify that is the how you are to think about uh, this particular problem and the provide the solutions is there. This is the research paper design thinking is the ambidextrous which you can refer and can find out that is the how the, the design thinking that can help to identify the solutions to the problems is there. This is the book uh, recommended design thinking in the innovation in learning. Uh, the, this book uh, will help you uh, with the uh, understanding that is how one can find out uh, the ways uh, in the difficult uh, solutions and can promote the design thinking is there. And uh, here this is how innovations in education and the educational policies uh, that create new pathways and partnership for the educators are there. These are the references for your further readings. I am sure it will help you to understand more in details about this particular concept. Thank you.